And today we ask, is it Portra or is it Aurora? First, this is what I do know. I know it's an 800 speed fine grain film, spooled by Flick Film here in Alberta. They have a, supposedly found a purpose manufactured C41 film. This is not a re-spooled cine film, this is not a cine film with a rim jet, rim jet removed, or any of that stuff. This is a true manufactured C41 film. What is it? I don't really know. We, we don't have any DX codes or anything. It comes in at a price of around 2370 Canadian, right off their website. So, yeah, that's pretty dang cool, if you're asking moi. But, um, yeah, let's look at some photos and talk about some things. All right. You know, the color works. I think the colors are well represented. They're not too saturated, they're not too dull. I don't know. I think they just work well. And quite honestly, I'm not the most well informed, but it really is giving Portrait 800 vibes. I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. Why are my hands in the air the whole time? Anyways, next. Oh, uh, 25 stars. Yeah, that's right, 25 stars. Moving on. You already know what I'm gonna say. Good scans, good resolution, eight stars. Moving on. Like, comment, subscribe. Go support me on Ko-Fi. Thanks, love you. I hate this lens. I cannot stand this lens anymore. It's the 35 Seven Artisans T. I don't. It doesn't matter. I'll put it on screen, but it sucks. It's kind of my own fault. I got really used to my G1 Zeiss combo. I wish I had a wider lens for that because I'd shoot everything on that. But I only have a 90, and I can't afford another lens for that right now. Getting off topic. All of these are very soft. What is focus? What is sharp? Anyways, I'm gonna give the film the benefit of the doubt on this one. So I'm gonna go with 20 stars, but I'm gonna go minus eight for a crap lens and user air. So 12, 12 stars. Cool. Very small, very fine, you know what I mean? It's weird, because I don't like fine grain, I like chunky grain, but that's... I'm starting to understand that fine grain just works better for color film. I like the chunky grain with the black and white, because it just works for my style, but this nice fine grain, almost indistinguishable, unnoticeable in certain lights, certain lighting. So it's, uh, it's good, I like it, I enjoy it. I think this is called growth. So uh, 15 stars. I'm really looking at myself and trying to look at you. Anyways, 15 stars, moving on. So, what do you guys think? I'm not the most well informed with uh, color film stocks, but with no DX codes, no markings to go off of, really just going off of the overall color, the look of the film, the look of the negatives themselves, and I don't know. I don't know what else it would be besides a unbranded 
Kodak 800 at a much cheaper price. I don't know. Those of you with more color experience, um, let me know. I'm curious what you guys think. I'm curious what the community thinks about this film stock. I enjoy it a lot. It is going to be my foy, for, 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 foy. I'm going to start shooting a lot more color film with this particular film stock, I believe. I like the 800 speed. I like the overall look of it. I like the latitude of it. I think it'll be a good film stock for me to use. And it's local to me, so that's cool as well. And um, yeah, I think if you guys can find it, you should give it a shot. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with it. Anyways, I told you to be back on Friday, and I'm back on Friday. So show me some love. Show me some dang love. Look, I started, I, whatever. Love you. Thanks, love you, bye.